Welcome to Boomhauer69 channel. And today Boomhauer is going to do a little talk video. This little video is going to be simply about trying to be successful. I hope whoever watches this video will find this video encouraging and and help encourage others to want to come become successful in whatever it is they want to do, whether it's a job, relationship, whatever. But and if you notice the background's a little different here is simply I'm at my um at the um well public cover pavilion. This was put in by the um Fred Meyer Rail Trail. It's just simply a little picnic area. <laughs> but yeah. But if in order to become successful in life, if you want to become truly successful in life, you gotta start today. Don't make any excuses. Don't say, oh, I wish I could this and that and the other. I do that a lot. I'm one of those guys. I look at my YouTube channel. I see the subscribers and the views. And I'm like, oh, darn, I wish I could have this many subscribers and that many subscribers. Well, if I want all that, I got to put the efforts into it. You got to really put the efforts into to becoming successful. You can't just half-ass everything. You can't wait around. You gotta get right on the ball and get right in right to it and whatever it is you wanna become successful. And for the example of this video, I'm gonna use me and YouTube. My goal is YouTube is simply to build a good YouTube channel with good content that people would love to enjoy to watch and and share and view enjoy to watch and share with everyone. And stuff. My goal is to become one of those successful YouTubers that has tons and tons of subscribers and reach a million subscribers and have a and have really good content. So if I want to be that successful person, I have to simply put the time and efforts into doing so. Because if I don't, then I will never become that successful person. Like, for example, when I make a video, I can't just sit there and make a throw-together crappy video because nobody's going to watch it. I have to simply figure out how to make the video good. And once I figure that out, and I make a video, I say, okay, this is the one I like, then I upload it, and then I simply wait and see what people's reactions are. Basically, how many views, subscribers it gets. Now, what I do a lot in... in, in in YouTube is I will make a video like I'll start recording a video making a video and and then I'll be like in the middle of it like oh this is crap redo it and then I'll stop the video and, and re redo it all over again and you know I done that multiple times like I just recently uploaded a video about a kerosene heater oh goody I, I sat there and spent well over hours trying to make a video about a about the redstone kerosene here because I kept like oh this is crap or oh I forgot to mention this redo it and I redid the whole thing a, a bunch of times then I uploaded it then I thought well that one's crappy I got a better idea so I deleted the other one I first posted redid it and added something in the beginning which you see where I did kind of like a slow motion panic panning view of the actual heater because I got the idea well I'll add that and check out my my um test out my camera skills and abilities to edit videos and stuff and like the other video I did where I showed over to the next town over the lake that I like that I used to go kayaking a lot and and spent many times at as a kid that was a, a test video to simply brush up on my my skills to try to make better videos my personal goal is with this YouTube is to bring new people content and be successful at it where I can bring good content for you people to enjoy and love to watch that's why I like all types of criticism and stuff because I know it will help me in the long run to be successful I, I personally don't mind if somebody comments on my video and says oh that video was crap now what I will do is if a person thinks that video was crap I might comment back to them and say why do you think it's crap? You know, and get some detailed information why they thought the video sucked or whatever, you know. 
Because some people will, will simply, you know, say, oh, your video is crap or your video is this because they're simply, simply being just straight up troll, mean, whatever, because they think it's funny. Well, that's fine too. Or, or some will say, being honest, saying, hey, I think your video is crap and here's why. And usually a person that will put a negative comment, comment saying, oh, your video is crap or yada, yada, yada. No. And if you ask them why they think that, like, oh, why do you think that? And they'll say, okay, here's why. Those are the people that are trying to be honest and not trying to be hurtful and meaning. And then you just have way with trolls. But it's all part of being successful. You have to take good criticism with the bad criticism a lot of times. But that will help you grow as a person and figure out, okay, where's the wrong? Where's the fault? Sir? What am I doing wrong and stuff, you know? Like, when I first started out this YouTube channel... I didn't fully understand, like, the YouTube keywords and tags and stuff, like, good keywords and tags for videos and stuff, and, and then I did a little research, and I found some information that helped me a little bit better understand the whole thing with the tags and keywords and, and how to, you know, and videos kind of a little bit about how you should really try to make a good description, so I say, oh, so I told myself, okay. I'm watching these videos about how to grow a channel, how to do certain things, so let me try to better myself. Because before I didn't put a whole lot of efforts into um, a, de a description in the video and, and certain things, and and there was even time where I even, I think even did some product review videos and I didn't even put the link to where you can get the item at. And, and even if I think the item is good or bad, when I do those product review videos, I still put the link in there so somebody else can come along and they might want to watch buy that item even if they because they might turn out and like it so I always so after watching videos and stuff I train myself to try to my best at making a good description using good key keywords and tags and thumbnails I know thumbnails are a very important thing try to get that good thumbnail for a video so people will see the thumbnail and say oh I got to click on this video and making a good title for the video that's important as well and that's all key features of being successful you have to learn to take the good and the bad with the ugly and you also got to be patient because success don't usually happen overnight some people it does there's some people that can upload a video it magically goes right on one day and they're they're living high on all just fine but usually success takes time and so you have to be patient keep working at it keep grinding at it don't give up and you'll be where you want to be i hope this video is encouraging is encouraging for you people out there that are trying to be successful in life and i hope this encourages you to not give up on what you're trying to do in life to become successful but that's the thing like me. I'm using me as an example in this whole YouTube thing. Starting out, there was a lot I didn't know. And as time goes on, I'm learning more and more and more because I keep training myself. Got to keep working at it, keep running at it. Nobody's going to do this for me. Nobody's going to say, oh, let me make videos for me. For me. Nobody's going to say, here, let me. I got to do it all on my own. And that's how, how I got to become successful because if I don't do it on my own, then I'm then somebody else is gonna be successful and I won't. So I just gotta train myself. Do not give up. Keep working at it, keep grinding at it. Keep watching videos on how to be successful and and not give up, you know. Train yourself and, and I encourage you, if there's something you want to be successful at it, go do it right now. Go figure out how to, to make it happen, you know. And that's what I do do is stuff from time to time is is watch videos. How do I do this? If I don't know something about YouTube, I go try to find good videos about that specific topic or whatever. Like, for example, tags and keywords. I didn't know a whole lot about tags and keywords. So what did I do? I went on YouTube and I typed in, what are tags and keywords in YouTube videos? What are they? And eventually, I found out a little bit more about them that I didn't know. I'm like, oh, so that's what tags and keywords so, for my videos, all I simply got to do now is just figure out what are good keywords, tags that would be perfect for people to find me in the YouTube search algorithm and stuff. 
and then it's also figure out how to make a good title that will bring people in and simply a good thumbnail so and, and that's the thing you have to remember always educate yourself never don't be afraid to educate yourself you know be patient don't be a lazy bum don't sit and say oh i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna do that blah 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 no do it right now if you want to be successful today you have to get up off the couch get out of your chair and do it right now because if you don't you're never gonna know if you just put it off put it off and i made that mistake in the past before but i have learned through doing youtube videos and stuff the amount of efforts i put into this youtube channel is basically what i'm going to get back so my ultimate goal is I have to keep uploading videos, make sure they're good quality videos, and listen to what people are saying in the comment section. If people are saying, oh, this is good, this is bad, whatever, and, and if it's bad, then ask the person, okay, why do you think it's bad, and, and get explanations so I can grow as a person, you know, and listen to the good criticism, criticism as well, you know. People say, yeah, I like this video. Maybe you ask them, hey, why did you like this video? What did you like about it? And, and remember, you know, that's basically what this video is about, is being successful, and I hope I encourage you all to get out there, try to be successful in whatever it is you want to do, get right to it, and eventually you'll be where you want to be. If you want to, if you're like me, you want to be a, a well-to-do YouTuber and have millions of subscribers and all that stuff, if you want that stuff, you got to get out there and do it. Like me right now, I'm almost to 500 subscriber, subscribers, not quite yet 500, I'm about 452 subscribers or 55 subscribers I think it is, 55, 56, 4, I think it's 456 subscribers the last time I checked, but the only reason why I got those subscribers is because I started putting efforts into building this channel, and so if you want to become successful, you got to not give up, you got to keep pushing, keep going. Even when times get hard, you got to keep pushing forward, keep moving forward, because if you don't, you're just going to set yourself up for failure, and then you will not become successful. So, this little short video here about trying to be successful, I hope you find this video encouraging. I hope these talk videos are, are, are basically a good content for y'all, you know, I hope y'all like it, and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button if you ain't already subscribed to the channel because by hitting that red subscribe button you're going to help Boomhauer 69 become successful in growing a YouTube channel and being successful in life and reaching his goal. Don't forget to comment below your thoughts on this video. Do you think this talk video was a good video, bad video, whatever? And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you really like this video, please share it with everyone you know. Help show YouTube that you want to see more of Boomhauer 69's channel, you know, help, help, help me get to where YouTube will recom recommend my channel more to people. So, hope you all have a good day, and thank you for watching my YouTube channel, Boomhauer 69, because from the bottom of my heart, I greatly appreciate it, and if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be able to become, if it wasn't for you, I, this would never be possible, so... Thank you, and hope you all have a good day.